This is March 2011 and my name is Søren Rasmussen from Team Euroluna. I would like to give you a presentation. On the screen I have currently our Romit 1 which is a double cube set. The double cube set has an electrical propulsion module, the FEEP, which is simulated here. And in the other end, there is the computer module up here. This satellite will only uh, fly in low Earth orbit around Earth and is not made for the, uh, the journey to the Moon. The next step is to build a ROMI 2, which would be a quad cube set and we still have the same uh, double cube set in one end that would be this part with the FEEP and the computer module and for the rest of the ROMI 2 there will be a retro rocket which will make it possible for our satellite to land on the surface of the moon. Which kind of retro rocket and in the beginning of this competition we were working with HTP which is a hydrogen peroxide as an oxidizing agent and mix it with uh, some kind of kerosene over a catalyst. So we have a fuel tank with hydrogen peroxide with um, kerosene and we mix it in a catalyst in the combustion chamber and let it go through a nozzle um, out to make it possible to make uh, a break for the lunar surface. One square here is simulating one CubeSat module, so in this case it is a double CubeSat which will sit on the end of Romit. We have another possibility which is using solid propellant some tubes with a nozzle in the end and they would be firing one or more of them let me just make a summary of the advantages of the disadvantages of these two kind of propellants the solid propellant has the advantage of being a simple system, it is relative safe and we can fire in multiple tubes to adjust the thrust so that we have a safe uh, landing on the lunar surface. The disadvantage is there's no way of stopping the firing when we first have done the ignition of a tube and we have to make symmetric firing so that we don't have any uh, tilt of ROMI2 during the descent to the lunar surface. Compared to the fluid propellants, it is simple and good, but there are some advantages with the more complex uh, fluid propellant system. We can have start and stop with this system because we can just stop pumping fuel or uh, the hydrogen peroxide into the combustion chamber and the reaction stops. That makes it a simple firing, uh, just pump it in, it starts, take it away and the thrust uh, stops. The disadvantage is, is clearly that it is a more complex system and there is with fluids a higher risk so we have to consider what is the best
one question for you is could you help us with doing one of the systems make the design maybe have uh, a test unit done um, our requirements it must be simple it must be safe and reliable and it has to fit into one or more CubeSat um, modules. That's all for this time and I wish you a nice day. Goodbye.